Maca's guides. <laughs> Hey guys, Maka here playing State of Decay 2 and in this video I'm going to be showing you my best method for taking out Plague Hearts solo. This makes things incredibly easy. You can kind of mix it up based on what you have a lot of in your community or what you might not have access to and you can use the same strategy for looting any of the resources you might need in the world instead of destroying the plague heart you would just go and get the resources themselves now what do you need for this strategy you will need obviously a melee weapon just to have as a safe kind of backup thing but you're going to need a gun whatever the gun that you have that is the best so whether it's a hunting rifle or a shotgun or a pistol you're also probably going to want some bandages and some snacks just in case things get a little bit dodgy and the other things you're going to want are Molotov cocktails, which you can craft from the workshop, soda can bombs or boxed mines, which are explosives also craftable from the workshop, and you'll need some sort of decoy, so firecrackers, fireworks, or a boombox, also craftable inside of the workshop. If you're not able to craft any of these, feel free to just find them in the open world in any area that has crafting resources. Now, if you've done any play cards in the game, your natural instinct might be to go for them and just melee them until they get destroyed. But this is absolutely the worst idea because you will get quickly overrun by zombies. As you damage the plague heart, it'll send out pulses in order to call zombies to protect it. So what we're going to do to counteract that is throw a firecracker outside to get all of their attention. Then once that happens, you can basically go inside and full assault the plague heart without any zombies really getting in the way. Because firecrackers don't really last too long, you don't want to be too risky here. You want to be able to make sure that you can loop back out of the area, throw another firecracker, and then do another full assault. I would highly recommend throwing molotovs and boxed mines or soda can bombs at the plague heart while shooting it with your best weapon. Try to do as much damage per second as possible instead of taking as long as possible because as soon as you destroy the plague heart, all of the zombies will disappear off the map. If at any point you do really feel like you're starting to get overrun, my recommendation would be to get into your car and run a couple of loops around the plague heart building to run over the zombies. Now, obviously you can adjust this strategy however you like. If you have an armory and you have napalm and grenades, all of the plague hearts are laughable and done in under 15 seconds. However, if you have trouble crafting things, you might have to resort to your weapons and the occasional melee to actually get you through the plague heart. Nonetheless, the strategy is sound regardless of what you bring. It might just take a little bit longer. Just make sure you're using firecrackers to distract the zombies as you take out the plague heart. And every plague heart in the game is incredibly easy to destroy. Destroy all 10 and you will be on your way to completing the game. Thank you guys so much for watching. Drop a like if this video was helpful. Share it with a friend. Special thanks to the amazing people on Patreon for supporting the show. And hopefully I see you guys soon. Peace.